Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today I will be reviewing another 164 diecast from Wave 4, and today it is Brad Keselowski's Fast and All um, from Wave 4. So, take a look at this, and here's my, my the rest of my collection, by the way, if you want to see that, the new YouTube video, just let me know. Um, so, I have the packaging right here. Don't ask me why I keep these, but, so, it's just Brad Kozlowski, Wave 4, the 6, NASCAR Phoenix, and Next Gen. In the back, just got all the cars. I got the Harvick. Um, I've got most, I've got four of these, so. I'm trying, I'm trying not to get the PTC mold cars, but they're fine, I guess. I really only just use them for fun, so not that big of a not that big of a collector yet. All right, now to the car. So first we've got Brad Keselowski's Roush Fenway Keselowski Racing, a number six fast and all. Probably my favorite scheme out of his wave four. So there's my camera right there. You can see that. So we got fast and all, where industry meets innovation on the hood. We got Ford. Then a nice clear windshield. Then we got the number six on the top. And then on the deck lid, we got Fast and All. And also on the top, we have Fast and All. And then Fast and All again. So Fast and All is probably the main sponsor of this car, I'm guessing. So, and we got Fast and All on the back. Ford, RFK Racing, and then the six. And then on the side, we got some cool, like, fade. Like, got the blue fades in the black. Looks really cool. Um, got Color Generations. I can't really see from my camera because it's so tiny. But yeah, we've got Color Generations right here. A couple other sponsors. We've got Brad Kozlowski on the nameplate. <laughs> then here we go again. These massive Goodyear tires, man. The freaking logo looks so bad. It's just huge. I do not know why it's so weird. Actually, this doesn't actually look as bad as some of the other PTC wolf cars that I have. Like. Look at this Joey Logano. Like, compare that to... I'll, pair, I'll compare that Logano to just this William Byron car, 2019. Just look at the logo on the tire. It looks very nice. So, I don't know what Lionel's going, got going on there, but... They should definitely step it up. I will keep on ranting about them until they fix the cars. So... Prepare for a lot of running my line. And then we got the crappy looking netting. PTC mold again. Got the fuel thing. Color generations. And then on the bottom we got Lionel Racing. A bunch of blah blah blah. And another problem I have with this car is like you can look on the bottom. You can kind of like see inside the car. It's kind of weird. Yeah. So, that's basically it for the car. Um, I don't really have much else to show you, so if you guys want my diecast reviews from my collection, just let me know which car you want. And yeah, I'll give it to you. Alright, have a good day, and bye.